I'm in Nye Beach, Newport, Oregon. I'm here to tell you, Generation Z can't drive. They don't know how. The millennials know how to drive like crazy people. <laughs> But the generation under them, what is it? Generation Z? I don't know what it is. The 18 to 30 year olds are afraid to drive. They're scared to death to be behind a wheel. They've never even bought their first car until they were 25. I'm not making fun of them. I'm just telling you, their driving basically sucks. They have very little experience. They never bought a car until they were 25. This guy here is confused about life, I think. Oh, I think he's just leaving. He thinks um, everyone can get around him there. Now he pulls over. So generation, whatever the generation is, 18 to 25. I had a neighbor, they told me, I just bought my first car. My mom bought me a brand new car, I'm 26 years old. Like, oh, that must be nice. Like a $38,000 little economy type car. You know, it's overpriced because it's brand new. Just had a girl come towards me in a van. She was 22 years old. She had 10 people in the van. She's scared to death she's going to hit all the cars that are parked. So she drove down the middle of the road. Now, I see this all day long. I'm not complaining. Trust me, I'm not complaining. I'm a very happy person in life. The things that are coming to this country in about 15 years, if the rapture hasn't happened yet, I'm a Christian, I believe the rapture could happen anytime. The things that are coming to this country in the next 15 years with that generation are going to blow your mind. Every single major industry. Go into the baking aisle at any grocery store in America. Any store, go into the baking aisle. It's desolate. There's nobody there. The stores are now trying to figure out how to get rid of the baking aisle. And we're talking name brands like Pillsbury, you know, Quaker, Oats, Kellogg. We're talking worldwide, you know, tens of thousands of people work at these jobs in America. And the government knows they're all going away. Because that generation, 18 years old to 30 years old, doesn't like those kind of things. They don't like the meat department. They don't like the baking department. They don't like the cereal department. They don't eat cereal for breakfast. They don't use oils of any kind. They, they buy everything they get from a, a grocery store deli once a day. They walk out with one little bag and one drink or some beer, some fancy beers. They're not used into wine yet, but they walk out with fancy beer and they go home. They eat one little box of food, drink two beers. They don't watch TV, the whole TV industry is going to collapse in about 15 to 20 years because these people don't watch TV. This generation, 18 years old to 30 years old, is going to change the entire world. You have no idea. They're all going to have an electric car 
Now, not all of them because a replacement battery costs about $8,000. So they're going to have what's called electric car sharing. They'll all share an electric car with their neighbors. That's how it's going to be. They're not going to work 40 hours a week. That generation, you think I'm making it up. I pay very close attention to all this financial stuff that's happening here in America and in China, India, Russia, around the world, Indonesia, down in Brazil. I watch it all. You watch this for several years and you instantly know what's going to happen in the future. It's like it just repeats itself. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Everybody was so shocked when the pandemic shut down the world. Everybody was so shocked when gas prices went up. No. Another thing, these uh, that age group doesn't like bicycles. The boomer generation, because they want to you know, lose 20, 30 pounds, they're all riding bicycles. They're all, but now they're not riding bicycles because they found out riding a bicycle, you have to pedal. You have to pedal up. <laughs> you have to pedal the damn bike. They're all riding electric bikes now and pretending to pedal. They pedal a little bit, like, oh, you know, I'm pedaling, getting some exercise. But they're on electric bikes, these old boomers, which I'm about to be a boomer. They're going 40 miles an hour, no helmet. No <laughs> they don't understand. The thing is like a miniature motorcycle. And you get a 68-year-old lady on a miniature motorcycle, well, you can pretty much guess what's going to happen next. She's going to crash. But I'm talking about the generation 18 to 25. They are the click-a-picture generation. They get out, they stop making movies unless they believe they're a TikTok star in their brain, which is another lie. They get out at the lighthouse here on the Oregon coast, and they, you want to talk about how fake everything is in this world now? They get out, they take a selfie at the lighthouse, and they put it on Instagram, and they adjust it, and then they adjust the coloring and everything. And then you log on to their page, and it says, I just spent all this time discovering this amazing lighthouse on the Oregon coast when I was traveling down, and oh, it was so sensual and epic and blah 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 that's what they're doing but you another young person are going oh man i'd love to go to that lighthouse someday it sounds so amazing and i'm sitting here i'm the old guy watching these people from other states get out of their car 18 to 30 years old. They walk over to the lighthouse. They look around for 32 seconds. They take a picture. They fix their hair. They adjust their body in a contortionate way that, you know, even a person in the, the circus, a trapeze circus artist couldn't do. So it looks better on the camera. And they, oh, they take the picture. Snap! And then they go online and they lie, 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 lie. And it's all about views. It's all about hits. It's all about everything. This generation, the world, well, this generation is going to completely change the entire world. You watch. You watch if I'm not um, telling the truth. When the 18-year-olds... Turn 30 years old in 12 years. That generation will be in charge of controlling the entire world's economy. Now, I want to leave you with that one thought because I could go on and on and on about all the things I have studied about this and watched and personally have witnessed thousands of times because I live in tourist land. Here's the thought I'm going to leave you with. That generation... And this might scare you. You might go pull the shades in your house, lock the door, turn off the lights, call in. I'm not going to come back to work. You won't want to go. <laughs> you might flip out when you get this information in your head and wrap your mind around it. That generation 
is going to be in charge of all the economy in the entire world. And I don't mean the savings. I mean the purchasing power. The purchasing power, what their generation XYZ, whatever it is, brain says they need to buy next. They need to purchase next. Boy, that's scary right there. They are in within 12 years, their generation is all going to turn between 30 and 42 years old, and they're going to all be the middle class generation making every financial decision. And whatever they spend their money on, that's what China has to make, India has to make. Someone has to make this stuff. But you see, here's the thing they're not going to buy anything. They're all going to get like little tiny houses to live in. They're not going to buy anything. And there won't be anything to make. And I'm telling you, this thing could spiral into a billion people worldwide losing their jobs. Because they don't want the same stuff their parents do. Like these people, they can't figure out if they're crossing the street or not. Oh, 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 they're not crossing. They're going to take a um, picture. That's what I'm saying. That generation, they were going, they're at the crosswalk. They were going to take a, uh, they were going to cross, but then someone decided to take a photo instead. I have to take a photo of myself at the crosswalk. That's the generation, my friends, that's going to be in charge of everything that is bought and sold on the planet within the next 12 years. If you don't understand what's going to happen to the United States of America now, then maybe you just don't want to know.